With the apparatus here, I intend to show electric fields above some warm castor oil using some semolina powder sprinkled from a pepper pot. EHT will be applied in this case using a Wimsus machine, but a Van de Graaff or EHT power supply can be used. If you want to look at these shapes, you might want to try and predict what fields each of these electrodes are likely to produce. Alright, to start with I'm going to add warm castor oil to the Petri dish. You can see it's nice and warm as it flows. And I want to cover and just cover these parallel um, electrodes. Just to make sure that everything's right, I can adjust the level using these two uh, screws here, but it is largely level, so we're all ready to go. I'm, I'm now going to attach the crocodile clips to the electrodes, so it's run from the Wimshurst machine, which is uh, off to the right, and I've got some recently dried semolina in a pepper pot and I just want a very light sprinkling on the top, on the surface and we're ready to go. So now I begin to wind up the Windsor's machine and this should produce a, an electric field. And there you can see how the lines of semolina form between the two plates. And I possibly could have put a little bit more semolina on that one, but I don't want to overload the semolina. I will now proceed to fill up the uh, trays and move along one at a time. The setup is very, very similar, but you will see the different shapes as we progress. Right, and now we've got two point sources which I'm going to drive. And they're very reminiscent of electric uh, magnetic fields as they form lines between the two. Our third configuration. see how they radiate very tight near the single point and spread out evenly-ish on the uh, straight plate. Our fourth configuration. And sparks too. And this is our last one, and I want you to pay particular attention to the different areas of the concentric circles. Largely no change in the centre, but you notice the between the centre and the outer ones there is a strong field that is very uniform.